praise God that I'm here today. Um, back in 2018, um, I was into heavy marijuana use and drug use, and I almost died. Um, I went into a psychotic episode, uh, which is really demonic possession, and I was sent to um, a treatment center for nine months. Um, it was there where I picked up the Bible for the first time, um, and I say almost died because my kidneys were failing. My parents couldn't find me. I was, they, my mom flew down and came to the hospital in Gainesville. Um, and from there, you know, I was hospitalized and then I was in a psychiatric facility for nine months, a rehab center. Um, I picked up the Bible thinking, um, oh, let me read my Jewish roots. I'm, I'm now like kind of remembering all this story. Now. Uh, I'm going to read Genesis and Exodus. This is the, the truth. I need to be, you know, Jewish, whatever. Um, and so I start to stabilize um, over time and uh, just mentally. Um, and then I started going to the Roman Catholic Church, which was what, which was what I was raised in. Um, uh, and just fast forward um, to January of 2020. I'm still I'm sober at this point. I go back to University of Florida to finish my degree. And it was there where um, I, I lived in this dorm style living. Um, it was called Cooperative Living Organization, but it was nicknamed Christian living organization um, because everyone there was very bold in their faith. Um, and it was ironic because uh, my dad was very close with the rabbi in Gainesville and he was the one who recommended me to live here. So anyways, I go there, I meet a couple of really good friends who just preached the Lord to me and I was very like, I was just like a sponge taking in everything I can take in. And, um, and so that was awesome. Uh, and it was there where I went to the first Bible study from the uh, ministry called Crew. Um, this was in April of 2020, um, and uh, then COVID happened. COVID, uh, we all go home to, back to, we all go back to our homes. Uh, they were like, everyone get, leave school, whatever. Um, and then I was into like a lot of new age practices, Joel Osteen, prosperity, gospel, all that stuff. Um, I didn't, I wasn't really filled with the Lord yet, um, but I was still like a sponge taking in things, asking my friend like, hey, did the resurrection happen? Hey, what was, um was Goliath really a giant? Like I was trying to take in as much as I can. And finally I read the gospel of Matthew and then I fell into tears. And I was like, this is for me. Like Jesus died for me. The resurrection actually happened. Like this is for me. And that was in April. Um, and then over time, like I finished my degree, um, I kind of forgot about it, but I had this really great friend, Isaac, who would always check in on me and say, hey, how is your faith doing? And I'd be like, you know, what? I'm not really reading right now. And then in December of that year, 2020, is when I got my first Bible, the ESV Study Bible. And then I started to read it, and then I felt so dirty and filthy with my sin. And I was like, wow, like, I really hate like my sin. And that's when I started to feel the Holy Spirit work in my life and convict me. And, um, that's when I made Jesus Lord in my life, um, when he healed me of all these lustful thoughts and unforgiveness. And that's why I would say, like, the lights went on, I would say, when I started to understand the scripture more, like, like what it was saying. And... Um, in January, I met my wife, Ruth. We started dating shortly after, and then I was baptized in March 2021. Um, and now we're here. Um, I would say like the biggest part of my growth has been, uh, we, we had the opportunity to lead a Bible study last year, and, and that's when I really took the scripture seriously, just like reading it, absorbing it, and knowing like this is the living word of God. And um, and so just encapsulating all, that's that's kind of how I found Jesus. And um, through that rock bottom, he took me up, and, and now I know, know him as Lord. So praise God.